what's up everyone i'm back and i'm back with another awesome tutorial and this one we are working with one of sam's images here so she has sent an image into us and yeah you guys can go give her a follow down in the description and i'll just show you guys well let's take a look at her style for a bit here so you can see there's a lot of flatness to the image and i'll explain how to get that with the curves later in the video so if we come down we are going to be working with keep coming down one of these images this one right here trying to recreate its exact edit so you guys can also go check out more of her content over here and you guys can come have a look over here see what you like she's got really awesome content so if we go back to instagram Okay, so we're going to be trying to recreate a style like this. And just real quickly about where I've been, I've been collecting a lot of great footage that I can offer you guys as flat footage. So if you guys are into video editing or LUTs, I'm going to be offering you guys uh, footage from a Canon 1DX Mark II that you guys can download from my store. So go check it out now if you're uh, into video footage and if you think that would help you to get your hands on the exact footage high quality footage that you can work with to get the colors and yeah get the colors i get to my videos so check out the store if you're into that and yeah let's get into this tutorial guys and create something really really nice like this okay so the first thing you can see is that this is a really really warm image so let's bring up the warmth a lot and then, so one thing I can see is that we're going for really warm look. So in warm places, there's not a lot of shadows. So if we get rid of the shadows, it makes our image look a little warmer. So I'll bring that up a lot. We will, so drop the highlights. We've got a very flat looking image here. So we'll, we'll get, do most of the flatness with the curves. But we'll bring down the highlights and then highlights is really going to bring back the detail in a lot of areas we can't quite get it all back out there but we'll bring that down a lot okay and so with these kind of edits it's really hard to get the colors to pop through the flatness of the image so we want to make this image really flat but then it's quite hard to get the colors to pop through it so the way we'll do that is by doing a pretty harsh s curve in here and that's going to get the colors to pop and then we can add extra flatness to our image to get this look so because we're going to add such a s curve that's going to add so much contrast as well. I'm going to up the blacks a lot. Going to drop the saturation because when we add the contrast in, we're going to add in a lot of saturation with it. Okay, maybe the whites because it's a little harsh in those brighter areas. Okay. So usually you just go back and forth, keep keep playing around, but uh, I've got a pretty good feel of it now. So on to S curves. So that's the curves done and as you can see uh, this curve here is giving us the flatness so if we re reset that you can see it's all really harsh there's a lot of contrast and then that really flattens it out 
and these curves here is what is going to make the colors pop but it's also adding in a lot of contrast that's why we've got to do such a flat curve here so i might just touch more contrast it's about good and then we'll just move on and do some colors now so starting with the yellows you can see they're looking too yellow here like if you look at the seats over here or here or along there they need to be more of an orange quite a bit so i'm going to shift that a long way greens not many greens in here at all we'll just warm them up because we do have a really warm uh vibrant feel to, to the style so we'll just warm, warm them up touch of blues here so they need to go just a little bit towards these purples i think And before I do any more with the hues, we need to get the deepness to these colors. So it's quite hard to get the hues right when the deepness to the colors looks a little off. So they look quite bright at the moment. So we need to change that by working with the luminance. So reds, for example, well, they're too saturated as well. So let's just quickly do the saturation. So we get kind of close to what we want and then it's going to help us pick the luminance okay so let's deepen the reds and, and can you see now that it's not so shiny as before so before we had it like this with the luminance up kind of looks a bit shiny and now take out the saturation and drop the luminance we're left with something a lot more like hers so let's just fine tune this about there let's do it with the oranges go deeper but that's also going to add in saturation a lot of the time so you got to watch out for that blues so we definitely want to do it to the blues here you can see the sign here the blues back there lamppost there let's bring them down Magentas. Um, back to hues. Shift more that way, maybe. We need to bring down the reds, obviously. So let's do that. Uh, oranges. About there. Yellows. So just looking in down here and up in this building here. Down a touch. Look 
looking pretty good. Not many purples and magentas, but we'll just shift them a little to more of a red. And yeah, we're looking pretty close now. The brightness to those magentas maybe. Okay, so sharpness can stay down. And then, so one thing you probably haven't noticed about this image is that it's got a bit of distortion. So what a lot of people do, especially for like landscape photos or just photos like this, is you just add a bit of distortion there. And as, as you can see, it just looks like it was taken maybe on a little bit of a wider lens. So that's before and after. Just makes it look a little more grand. I think it's a good little trick to just make your images look a little bit better. So if I show you the cropping. Um, so that's how much we cropped in. And yeah, you can see the distortion is just slightly bending it inwards there. So if we come down, you can see it in action. Okay. And that's about it guys. So uh, yeah, you guys can check out the presets if you like these tutorials. I know I've been away for a while, but I'm coming back with lots of video content for you guys. And what I'm going to do is going to be selling uh, flat video footage and then teaching you guys how to color grade it, but allowing you guys to get your hands on the exact footage I'm using flat shot on a Canon 1DX Mark II so that should be really really helpful for you guys wanting to learn video and how to use LUTs on there and get the style that I get and the colors to my videos so yeah but if you're liking these photo tutorials check out the presets guys and I think everything's over on my store make sure you leave a comment on who you guys want to see comment people that don't have many followers on Instagram but have great images have great styles and then I'll reach out to them on Instagram. They'll send in an image and I'll do a tutorial on them. So yeah, that's about it, about it guys. Thanks for watching. I'll get the next video up soon. Bye.